Hello beautiful Aries, welcome to my channel, Miss Reamy Healings, my name is Reem. Welcome into your first half of August, okay? This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aries on your Soul to Soul Connections. Um, we're going to start with your soul growth, your soul ascension, healing, any guidance that you need to hear for you. Um, and then we're going to do a romantic love spread on your soul to soul connections, okay? So two spreads, okay, one focused on you, your growth, your expansion, healing, and any guidance that, that you need to hear, and then a romantic love reading, okay, for sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Aries. I realized, because a couple people were commenting that the last Aries video was deleted and um, I apologize I don't know why it got deleted but I took that as a sign and I didn't have the video afterwards because I delete them after I record them on my phone so I'm gonna start with you guys this month okay <sighs> for beautiful Aries please all right. Okay, so we have Revelation number 28. This is the Goddess Oracle. I'm also hearing revived. Something is being revived. I don't know why, but I see something. I see a revival of some sort of energy that is within you. And this is really straightforward, this revelation, this aha moment, this epiphany, okay? It's going to come in a form of a synchronicity or the divine or the universe consistently sending you messages, okay? And then it's going to click for you, okay? So you could be seeing something non-stop. You could even be seeing certain colors a lot is also what I'm getting. Blue, purple, pink. But there's something coming to you in a various in various ways. Okay, there are synchronistic ways and they're trying to capture your I just heard capture your imagination and your attention, okay? To notice something it's where re this revelation is reviving something within you Aries something that you've always had it's something that was never missing from you so it's it's a revival of that energy okay and you're going to realize this this is a revelation of that energy Number 28 can be significant for you guys. I'm also hearing August 28th. This is also reduced to 10, which is a completion. Okay, so you're coming to a close of a cycle and you're starting something new. Okay, this is the Muse Tarot. We're going to get into this. Wow, the Empress, beautiful energy. So you're bringing things together is what I'm feeling here. Like this Empress is putting things into place and gathering things together. Do you also, um, I just realized because I said earlier that it's a revival of something that you've always had and the empress has everything has life within him or her it's never missing sometimes it's just realized or being being brought into our awareness at the time that we are supposed to become aware of it it's always been there it's always there within you i feel like once you realize this epiphany power this energy maybe a path forward, maybe a career, it could be anything. This energy is different for all of you because there are so many of you, but it's something that you will be protective over as well. So you're going to be protective of your energy. You're going to 
hold your energy close is also what I'm getting here and you're going to protect it. The Empress is also significant of new beginnings, okay? Yes, wow. Oh, you're transitioning so beautifully into this new adventure. Look at the Divine's hand, God's hand, the universe's hand, okay? Helping you to cross this challenge, okay? They're building a invisible bridge so to speak to help cross you over so there are challenges that you are overcoming okay and the divine is helping you to transition and to move through it you're going to realize this could be a realization of your full potential Aries this could be a realization of okay, this is who I am, or this is what I'm supposed to do, or this is, this is my next journey, this is my next path. All of these obstacles taught me something. I know what I have within me, and this is a revelation. It's really like igniting within you and sparking. Um, it's igniting, did I just say that? <laughs> So if you feel like you've been going through a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges, they're saying you have, you have the tools, you have the energy, you have the power to persevere, but there is also a lending hand, okay? This hand are all of the messages, the synchronicities. Um, see the power in the hands here? I'm just realizing all of the power coming through the hands to help you to transition forward, to move you through this obstacle here. And you have this energy that's igniting within you. There's, there's so much energy within the palms of your hands. Um, there's a lot of energy that comes through our crown chakra and many other chakras in the ethers that we have around our energy field but they come through our crown they come through our hands and they also come through our feet okay we have an earth star chakra as well so they're saying ground cleanse make sure you're open to receive okay there's something with the hand that's very powerful but you're being guided through this okay and this hand is again the synchronicities that the divine is sending you so they're saying pay attention pay attention to the signs to the synchronicities Pay attention to the guidance, to the colors. Maybe you're seeing words all over, like you're seeing similar words constantly. Oh, wow. The Fool, yes. As mentioned before, you are transitioning through these obstacles that you are in persevering through, okay? Look at the divine helping you. I feel like this is your journey. You're going through these obstacles, you're being helped, you're being guided through, you're going to persevere, you're going to make it to the other side, and you're going, it's like, this is you crossing that bridge, crossing your obstacles, crossing this, you know, ending this, whatever this could be, any cycle in your life that you feel that it's overdue, a cycle is overdue to end, okay, it needs to end. It's long overdue for its ending, so that you can start anew. You're on a new beginning here. So beautiful. <laughs> and I feel like you're going to be really protective of your energy, really protective of the person that you have become. You could be even protective. You could be a mother um, or a father. You could be protective over your home, your children. I'm going to get two more because I feel like there's more to the story here before we get into your love reading. Oh, yeah, there's two. <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry, I heard one more. Okay, perfect, okay. So we have here a page of inspiration, which is um, significant to, or 
um, related to the Page of Wands energy. Okay, another new beginning. So if you realize here you have the Empress, Six of Swords, you have the Fool. Sorry if you can't see all that. Oh. Sorry, I know I need a bigger table. <laughs> Um, you have the Empress, Six of Swords, Six of Voices, and then the Fool. And then after this new beginning, you have Page of Inspiration, you have Seven of Emotions, and then you have Page of Voices, Page of Swords. So all of this Page energy is coming after the Fool, after this aha moment, after this revelation of yours. After the close of this long overdue cycle, after you say, I'm ready to begin, what's next? Like, what's next for me? And you're em embarking on this new journey with a beginner's mind, okay? This is not a setback. This is a beginner's mind of, I learned what I learned. Now let me learn something higher, more, deeper of sustenance. Okay, I feel like you're learning a lot here. I feel like you're taking new courses of action. You're not doing the things that you used to do. You're doing things differently. And you're finding yourself here with the seven of emotions. You're finding yourself feeling different ways that you've never felt before that you've never expressed before could be a little bit confusing okay but you are embarking it as if you are new to it okay you're you're going through new experiences here i think in, in the month of august it's really it's really promising the month of august for you is a new journey new ideas new emotions, new ways of thinking or gathering information or even um, speaking what you have found. Maybe you're, um, you're finding ways to articulate yourself in different ways of expression. This could be through art, this could be through writing, music. <clears throat> I feel like you're being more free with yourself. You're being more kind with yourself. You're being more generous with yourself. And it's like all of this you are realizing, okay? You're realizing. They're also saying take time to rest here with the Four of Swords, Four of Voices. Take time for yourself. Give back to yourself. Self-love, self-care, exercise, eat healthy, take a bath, look up at the stars. What do you enjoy? Is I'm for for you, Aries, for quite some time. I've been feeling new energy for you, and it's it's really beautiful energy, really really beautiful energy. Okay, so that was your um your soul growth and expansion reading. So I hope this resonated with you. Um, we're going to get into your your romantic love reading. Okay. So we're going to go back to the goddesses. We're going to ask what messages does Aries need to hear on their romantic love? For your romantic love for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. I just heard they're ready. They're ready. They're ready. Get out there. They're ready. Wow. Beauty. Yes. <laughs> beauty oh wow this there's so much um balance that i feel with you and this new energy that you are realizing about yourself okay this is about you i feel like you're coming into this newfound beauty about yourself aries oh my god it's so beautiful um i feel like you're seeing yourself in a different light aries i feel like you're seeing yourself in such a beautiful way that others are also going to recognize you because 
it's this new energy it's this vibrant energy it's this new beauty okay this isn't you know about exterior be beauty this is about inner beauty that shines in and then out this feels new this recognition this revelation this feels new okay very beautiful so let's get into it we're going to use the light sears tarot for aries please sun moon rising and venus for aries please thank you for sun moon rising and venus someone's really funny because i'm hearing I'm not hearing jokes but i'm i'm feeling i'm feeling humor so someone's really funny either that's you or someone that you're connected to but someone uses humor someone uses humor to not deal with awkward situations if that makes sense <laughs> um that's what i'm getting okay so, wow queen of wands beauty queen of wands the queen of wands is the most attractive energy in the tarot it's this it's this energy of beauty it's this energy of i know what i have to offer i know my light within i know what cards i can play i know what i have to offer i am independent i am strong i'm hearing all these affirmations because i feel like you've really worked hard to take care of yourself to build yourself up so you're really really attractive the queen of wands is the most attractive energy and this is what i felt here with beauty coming out so the queen of wands coming out after it's just so much attraction you're so attractive you're so abundant with the empress here as well in your soul growth reading attraction beauty abundance life i also feel like again look with the hands do you see this look at the light coming out of the hands this is these are two different decks and not even the same artist either this is um i believe it's colette baron reed and this one kim Kranz. kim trans i believe i'm so sorry i'll i'll write them down after i finish this video i'll post it But see, this is a revelation. You're having a revelation of this is who I am. This is what I have to offer. Look at the light that is coming out through me to the rest of the world, to my reality that I can see. You're having a revelation of your own beauty. And that's amazing because that's going to attract the person for you so let's see okay let's see aries on their love life please aries for their love life please ten of wands putting something down releasing the burdens i really feel like you're releasing blame is what i'm getting here i feel like there was a situation in your life where you put the responsibility on yourself whether this was a person not reciprocating feelings so you blamed yourself a person not committing you blamed yourself a person not showing you what you deserve you blamed yourself it feels like blame and i feel like you're putting that down and you're recognizing your own beauty of six of wands underneath that which is recognition You have Knight of Swords energy. Yeah, you're putting a, you're putting, yeah, three of swords. Okay. Okay. The Emperor at the bottom. So I feel like you're putting down a responsibility. I feel like you carried a lot here. 
on your own on your own shoulders you carried it heavy within your own heart with the three of swords someone here was with the knight of swords energy this taking flight energy um taking flight in uh in a negative sense uh, it feel this knight of swords feels quite low vibrational of not being thoughtful okay there was someone that you were connected to that lacked thoughtfulness or compassion towards your own feelings so i feel like you have to put that responsibility down to recognize your own beauty this revelation here that we talked about in your soul growth reading I feel like you're really mending yourself here with the Three of Swords. You're trying to heal something. Oh, 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 okay. Yep, you're doing lots of mending here with the Ace of Cups coming out. Right after talking about the Three of Swords. Lots of mending, lots of healing. This is self-love energy. Look at what you're activating. You're activating your heart. You're activating your heart chakra. You're pouring self-love and self-care into yourself, into your energy, into your body. You're healing a heartbreak here. You're putting it down. You're recognizing who you are, your beauty, and what you have to offer. Nine of Cups. You're going to be fulfilled. There's a new love here for you, Aries, okay? There's a new energy coming your way because of your revelation about who you are, okay? It's going to attract this new love in. So there's a new love here. this is yeah king of wands <laughs> okay so this is a vibrational match i'm going to get one more but i just want to show you you have the king and queen of wands so this is a partner that is on your vibrational frequency this is someone that is this is a give and take okay this is this is something that works okay beautifully together this is new um here with the nine of cups this is this is something that you have it's almost like wishing for the qualities of a partner instead of just wishing for a relationship do you know what i mean it's like i'd rather you you would rather have the the qualities that you deserve rather than just saying or you know being in a relationship just for the sake of being in a relationship i feel like this nine of cups energy is really high by really high vibrational of these are the qualities that i deserve because i know what i deserve This is new. I feel like for this group that I'm channeling here, it's new. Okay, you could have recently met a person, um, or you will be meeting a, you will be meeting them. You have the Seven of Swords energy. You have Knight of Cups at the bottom. Okay, hold on. See, okay, so for some of you, I have to be honest. Some of you. I don't feel like you're blocking this new person from coming in, um, but some of you may be, may be, not blocking, but delaying the right person for you. Um, I think there's expectations on this person that hurt you, okay? Um, maybe it's taking you a while to release them and to heal from them. Um, I feel like here with the Seven of Swords, your guides have this is a warning okay your guides have been warning you about this person 
through signs, synchronicities, or maybe their actions, okay, are um, they, they, they're larger than what this person can speak. So, you know, their actions, their energy, and the divine is um, telling you, like, this is, you know, pay attention to those red flags, okay? So that's a warning. So there's a, there's a relationship here that is fulfilling on the way, okay? But I feel like for some of you, it's just about releasing this person. Let's get some more. King of Pentacles energy. Okay, that's another person here. I feel like that's another person. The High Priestess. Okay, that could be that other person. Yeah, that is the other person. Okay. Yep, and we're back to where we were with the strength, the Page of Swords twice, and the Hierophant, Knight of Cups at the bottom. Okay, um, okay, let's take these four. Let's talk about this energy. Okay, so the warning that the Divine is um, reaching out to you with is with this King of Pentacles energy. Could be an Earth sign, doesn't have to be, but they have attributes of... Um, stubbornness I'm feeling their way no way their way or no way my way or the highway kind of is that kind of thing <laughs> but they didn't budge um, and they showed very little compassion to your emotions um, and they had a lot of a lot of things that were hidden here with the high priestess so they didn't share a lot of um, maybe they didn't share a lot of their materials with you they didn't show um, any appreciation towards you. They they just they didn't um, they just didn't give you what you needed, okay, or what you deserved ultimately. And I feel like this is what really hurt you. This is what really caused you pain, okay. And I feel like there was a lot of signs here with the Seven of Swords, Spirit, the Divine, the Universe, you know, telling you. Even you, I feel like you intuitively knew that this person wasn't the right one for you, but I feel like you just gave them the benefit of the doubt. And here with, so we have two tens here, we have the ten of wands, and then we also have here ten of swords. So yeah, you're just walking away from this person. So if you haven't walked away from this person yet, I feel like you will. I feel it, we're all on different timelines, so place yourself wherever you are in this reading. But I feel like there's someone better for you guys that will fulfill you and give you what you need. They're, they are a match to you, okay? So the Ten of Swords. But what's so beautiful about this deck specifically, the depiction of the Ten of Swords is not someone with swords in their back, feeling backstabbed. This is someone that is already healed and gotten up. And, and is walking, is standing tall. And it's walking away. See, spirit is guiding you towards something better, towards something more. So you really built up the strength to get up and to walk away from this person that caused you this pain. And I feel like you have this, again, this new beginner's mind. So you have your page of swords twice here in your soul growth reading. And then it's mirrored into your romantic love spread it's just like these new ideas i think you're having new ideas of love i feel like you're experiencing different people you're experiencing you know relationships and you're kind of um it's like um it's like a, an, an encyclopedia of your own experiences of romance and it's like you're capturing that all down and you have new ideas of, you know, what you want, the qualities that you want in a person, what you deserve. So there's this new mind and new ways of thinking, okay? That's really going to evolve you, okay? Evolve into more. Here with the Hierophant, this evolution. It's really going to move you forward, your relationships your energy and the energy that you attract because you have evolved from your experiences you're going to attract energy 
that is evolved as well and that's why we have the knight of cups here someone that is chivalrous kind compassionate and wanting to give you what you deserve is this someone that is a little a little bit of a romance okay they like romantic things or maybe they show you something that you know they don't usually show people or maybe this is you know your energy together maybe this is what you guys do for one another because you have your counterparts here the king and queen of wands with the ace of cups so this is new love okay coming in for you after you release this pain even if you released a person a long time ago okay even if you know this is past pain and you know you're healing you're growing and you're still you know looking for not looking but you're waiting for someone to come in maybe you haven't met this person yet okay this is just about continuing to be optimistic okay continuing on your journey continuing to see your beauty okay so that's what i have for you aries i hope this resonated with you i am sending you so much love light and protection thank you so much for watching and god bless Thank you.